Hi everybody and welcome! A few days back I've asked you to suggest what topic I should cover next. You guys, both on the Sound of AI YouTube channel as well as on the Sound of AI Slack group, suggested that I cover sound generation with variational autoencoders. And indeed we are. So I'm announcing the new technical series which is called Generating Sound with Neural Networks. In this video in particular, I want to cover some introductory stuff and specifically I want to give you an idea what you are going to learn during this series, what are the prerequisites to follow uh, this series and I'm also going to talk about some of like the stack that we'll be using. So what are you going to learn? Of course, the main thing is that you're going to be able to generate sound with variational autoencoders. but uh, if you're familiar with this channel, you know that I care a lot about the theory and indeed uh, what you're going to learn also from this series is going to be the uh, theory behind variational autoencoders. So you're also going to learn how to implement and train variational autoencoders with TensorFlow and Keras. Another important aspect of this series is that we're going to be using the short-time Fourier uh, transform for pre-processing data. So you're going to learn how to perform the STFT or short-time Fourier transform and the inverse is STFT with Libreza. And more generally, you're going to learn how to pre-process audio data sets and make them ready for the sound generation uh, process. If you're familiar with this channel, you know that I love covering both the practical side of things but also the theory behind it. And this series is going to be like no different from all the others on this channel. So I'm going to have coding tutorials, I'm going to cover the theory uh, behind um, many of the things that we'll be covering here and then I'm going to give you a high level intuition to understand how autoencoders and variational autoencoders work. This isn't a uh, course or a series for beginners. Indeed, there are some prerequisites that you should check. First of all, you should have an intermediate level of Python, at least intermediate. Then you should have a basic understanding of deep learning. I'm not going to cover basic stuff like convolutions or how to train and test a deep learning model. If you want to learn all of this stuff, I have a whole series dedicated to that that's called Deep Learning for Audio with Python. You ch can check it out up here. Another thing that's going to be like very uh, advisable to have is familiarity with TensorFlow Keras, but this is not going to be really necessary because I'm going to really explain line by line what I'm doing when I'm coding uh, like this uh, sound generation systems. Then uh, another uh, prerequisite is to be familiar with the short time Fourier transform. Again, this is advisable, but it's not necessary because we're going to be using like the STFT as just a way of like pre-processing stuff. And really, we don't really need to understand all the nitty gritty details there. But if you don't have a background, uh, if you don't have like knowledge about that and you want to learn more, I have a whole series called audio signal processing for machine learning and there I have loads of videos on Fourier transform and short time Fourier transform. I highly suggest you to go check that out, it's up here. I'm sure you'll be asking, so, but where do, well, will I get code and slides? Well, I'm going to put all the materials that I'll create for this series on my GitHub. So for every video, I'm going to post a link in the description box that you can access to get like the relative material. The technology stack that we are going to be using is, of course, Python. And then on top of that, for the deep learning side, we're going to be using TensorFlow and Keras. And for pre-processing, so for the short time Fourier transform and for the inverse STFT, we're going to be using Libreza, which is an audio uh, processing library for Python. Here are a couple of sound data sets that we may end up using during this series. The first one is called Nsynth and this is a data set published by a Google with a gazillion uh, music instrument notes. Maestro, on the other hand, is a data set that uh, features more than a hundred hours of piano uh, performances by professional pianists. Now, I'm not sure which one of the two I'm going to use during this series, but we may end up using like both of them to train our models. 
Who's this series for? Well, there are a bunch of different groups who will benefit from this series. I'm thinking about machine learning and deep learning engineers, but also computer science students and students in artificial intelligence, more specifically, software engineers, audio programmers and music technologists. If you'd like to discuss all the topics that we'll be covering during the series, I highly suggest you to join the Sound of AI Slack community. This is a community with people who are interested in AI music, AI, AI audio and digital signal processing. So if you want to join this community, please check the sign up link in the description box below. In the next video, I want to define the sound generation task and talk about the different approaches that we can use in deep learning to generate sound. In the process, I'll also be touching upon some of the challenges that we'll have while trying to generate sound with deep learning. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you are as excited as I am to, yeah, go through this journey together. If you liked the video, please leave a like and I guess I'll see you next time. Cheers.